scream at each other and freak out on each other, okay? I thought the screaming was over yesterday. No. Howie, thoughts? <laughs> My thoughts are... <laughs> there we go. Uh-oh. Now these are your thoughts? Yeah. Um, well, collectively. Um, for people like you, Will, you know, taking events is not good. You know, it gets our ass thrown in a ringer. Mm. Throwing events could directly send me home. I don't like that. I mean, anyone else here likes that. Boogie definitely doesn't like that. Didn't sit well with him in Big Brother 2. <laughs> Drinking chocolate milk! <laughs> okay. James, yesterday we got it over with, you know, we thought, you know, we, we did things against whatever, whatever. It's over with. Are you saying that through the event, or are you still... No, we're saying account? that you... Okay, Danielle obviously put us up last week. She's responsible for Kate's eviction. Why you didn't take her out? You aided in her getting the power veto. Okay. We're pissed off. Very okay. Pissed. And we feel like you helped her get the power veto. Okay. Because you want her in the game. You are in our, in our alliance. Just you talk, because I don't have to You're in our alliance. <laughs> it can't be either or. You either have to be in our alliance or you're not in our alliance. You're okay. in our alliance. That's, that's fine. Like, he should have left our alliance Listen, because Howie. of one person. Because of Danielle. Howie. No, because of Danielle. <laughs> okay, Howie, you need to relax. Here's the deal. I told you yesterday you guys want to get rid of Danielle. That's fine. Yes. Okay? She's got to go next. If one of us are nominated, we pick someone from this group to defend the group. It has to be on every single level that we're playing as a group. Right. Nomination decisions have to be made as a group. When I was HOH, I let majority rule. It went against my decision, but I let majority rule. If this is how we are making this commitment, it has to be the same for every single member of the group. I am perfectly fine with that. I have no problems with that. But if people see that one person is playing for themselves while the others are playing for the group, then it creates dissension. And that can be seen on several different levels. So as a group, we have to come to a decision before nominations, and we should all walk out of here confident, feeling that those decisions are being handed down. If there's a veto used, we should all decide who gets rid of which person do we want to get rid of. Before veto competitions, we decide who we want to get rid of. Collectively, as a five, we make it stand now, and we throw out the fucking pass, and we just move forward and win this fucking game. It's plain and simple. So am I correct that Erica's going to go this week? Yes. Daniel has, has to go to next week, to then Marcellus, week. then Chicken George. Absolutely. And then we fight it out, best man wins. And, and, I'm, and I, I mean, when it comes down to the final five, I want to make clear my priority, obviously, is to Mike Boogie first, but we can have an honest general well, obviously game. we have we'll our priorities over of here. Of course. Here. And we'll but play the best of our ability five. at that time. Right. And we can also talk about the big picture, which I'm totally comfortable with at any time discussing. Okay. That's fine. So all decisions will be made as a group from this point out. Okay. With everyone having an equal... Set. Is everybody happy with that? Because yes. to me, that's what I'm talking about. Can I say something? I felt like we, it was a group decision to get rid of Danielle this week. I thought and we were... And I felt it was a group decision um, a couple weeks ago. Not we're not talking about a couple weeks ago. We're talking about this week. Okay. And um, we all decided that we were going to get rid of Danielle because she got rid of Kaser. Oh. See, I had different views on That's why I said we need to start this now. Forget about the past, because I still believe Kaser should have been picked for the veto competition. But we have our different opinions. You told me not to pick Kaser. I said if you want to beat someone, pick Chicken George. Uh, we can't talk about this anymore, because we have to move forward. Uh, let's let, let, water under the bridge. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's how we focus. We're all on the same page here. Final five. Final five. There was some disorganization before, I think, you know, Kaser and well, the people I mean, with, the, you know, you two of you being nominated. You two being nominated. It was a hard decision. Play. It was a hard decision. wanted to go home. We both wanted to we'd do it. We thought we guys the right had a thing. tight alliance. We fucked up. So now we move forward and hopefully don't find ourselves in that situation. Yeah, but I mean, I'm not accusing you of anything, but like, why did you help Danielle? Are, are we moving forward or are we going to continue to do this? Because I well, think you have, I have to hear it from you that you're not working with her. I'm not working with Danielle. Are you ready to swear that you're not working with Marcellus? Yes. I'm not working with I hate him. Okay, done. I agree. Everything that happened before today, fuck ups. None of us are perfect, especially not myself. Screwed up. When you came over and talked to me yesterday during the Beatle competition, which was the only time you came over to talk to me, okay, I told you what my rationale was and I realized I fucked up right then. You told me to write down 10 seconds. Because I, I thought his time was 18 now. Right. But I wrote down twice as much because I saw what Danielle wrote because I wanted to win that competition and toss her out. 
Anyone who does that spinning thing, it's a lot harder than it looks. Jack sat there for so long because apparently during his season, he fell over when he got off and did it. I'm not happy with the fact that I did not take Daniel off the block yesterday. Okay, because now we're having discussions like this. It just needs to be, we've all made mistakes. We need to just move forward and say to hell with it. It's the only way it's going to work, because otherwise you and I are still going to keep going tit for tat about this, and none of us are really going to know until after the show. And I don't want it to be after the show because the five of us are in sequester because Marcy and Danielle may have won the game because we sat there doing all the infighting. The big picture is too important to resolve things that we're only going to resolve once we get out of the game. Right. Danny tried to destroy our group in more ways than one. Taking out Kaser and causing you to leave us with dissension. Okay, and if, if you want to continue to bring up the past, I will bring up every single moment. But are we going to move forward or what? I will move forward. Fuck it. Thank you. <laughs> Chuck it. What a hard ass. <laughs> Little chuck of milk sues the savage beast, I guess. Um, <laughs> all right, so what's gonna happen? You're gonna put up Chicken George. Does he does he know he's safe or no? No, uh -huh. no, don't do. Listen, do we gotta smash Erica yeah, out of here? She needs to think she's safe. If he's not gonna run around the house saying I'm safe, the room is gonna go to listen, the, last time. the moment you oh, two left thing. outside, the moment you two left outside, Erica goes, <laughs> Boogie's going up, and he doesn't even know it. So they, Erica yeah. thinks Boogie is going up. She's already been campaigning for votes. I told you. <laughs> And I told her Erica that. thinks Boogie she like, <laughs> Erica goes er, last night Erica's like this morning she's like hey good try last night but Boogie's going up and I'm like I told you she's campaigning good try. Like, she got me in the storage room and she says that Boogie's she's like would you please vote for me I'm like oh, sure I'll vote out Boogie vote out Boogie we need she needs to think Sorry. she's totally safe alright that's kind of the only other option is put Marcellus up there and convince him he's going home so he will be crying during HOH which is a completely viable option. You thought of it. I like it. I actually enjoy that idea just because he was he, sleeping up here. Taking he will be fucking ball. The, 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 I mean, you haven't really heard this full discussion, but if it's Marcellus and Eric up there, we will be like, Eric, you're safe, you're safe, you're safe. We will fucking run our ass right now. We talked about it yesterday. And Marcellus will be crying when he does not leave. And um, when they're like, okay, it's unanimous. In his, in, mind, in his mind, he will quit. He will quit. He's, he's like, I don't care. I vote against Chicken George, but that'd only be one vote to... Uh, for Erica to That's stay. why we, were, we want to tell Erica that she, wait, you need to tell Erica that you're rolling out Chicken George. So no, Erica's, Erica's going to think she's totally safe. That's what I'm saying, regardless. so Danielle lies and uses her, she's going to try and keep Erica. But if you put Marcel She promised Chicken George a vote from week one. Right, doesn't mean she wants thing. to save him though. Marcel, the, we well, have to worry about Danielle, Erica. Chicken George, and Marcellus next week. There's only three people we have to worry about. Well. Chicken George, George people we have to worry about. I mean, I don't want to, I know they're going to edit this and maybe look like an asshole when he wins for the next HOH, but he's the, not the strongest competitor. Danielle is a strong competitor. There's nothing we can do about her this week. If you put Marcellus up there, he will be emotionally shattered. Remember what I wanted to do last year to shatter, who was it that I wanted? April. Uh, April, so she'd be so fucking, that's why I wanted to attack them verbally when Eric was leaving, so they'd be so fucking shaky and they couldn't even put their bocce ball on the You know what you could do, D Janelle? Uh, I, know, I know why you're skeptical to do it, because individually you're worried about him either coming after you, which is happening anyways. Or bitching like a hoe. Or, or bitching yeah. like a hoe. Yeah. <clears throat> but you could go to him after the fact, right after the HOH next week, assuming he doesn't win it, of course, and you could say, look, I only had to do that just to use you as your pawn, and I couldn't tell you, I swore to Howie that I wouldn't tell you, or I swore to Howie and James that I wouldn't tell you, whatever. I mean, the thing is, Chicken George, you may make an enemy out of him. Who you're not really He's a less with. threatening enemy, though, than having Marcellus bitch and complain and whine that I... Marcellus Marcellus that. Every time he... Every, he's not going to bitch and complain. He's going to bitch for two minutes, and then he's going to go to that room and sleep for three days. He's sleep for three days. And then he's, he's going to come out, and he's going to pack his stuff, and he's going to give us a speech like, fuck y'all, because I didn't want to be here anyway, and fuck everybody, and we're going to be And like, I have a life outside of here. And, and I'm awesome, and I did 20 pilots, and then we're going to be like, ha-ha, you're staying, motherfucker. And then we're going to go to the HRH, and he's going to be crying and upset and freaking I actually out. think it'd be a good idea. If he thinks he's leaving, then he's going to tell you exactly how he really feels. And how he might even get a new bus out of it. He will be. Well, think he's going home. He's not. And I mean the drama. I mean, Janelle. It'll be a great show. It'll make a great show. It'll it'll crush him emotionally. Because here's the thing, Janelle. Just, I, I, you know, we very much understand personally. You don't want him to come after you or what.